Let's go! This is our dream goal, so this is... I'll say the last thing I feel like doing right now is riding a bike. <laughs> this is the true dream. The true, true dream of a boat. Welcome back to our vlog. We have not vlogged in a very long time. We actually, the last time we vlogged was on our way back from our Africa trip. So we're going to try to vlog this weekend because it's something that's kind of like a major step in our life for us. Um, it's not there yet, but I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Since we gotten back from Africa, we decided to make up our own business because there's something we want to do in the long run with the money that we make and we have been pumping out these vans and we are building these vans are because we hope to be able to buy a boat to travel on instead of our van so this weekend we are going to the u.s sailboat show and there's no way we can afford anything there but since covid everything we are interested in has been picked up off the market really fast so we haven't even had a chance to go look at any boat even tell like what size we want what kind of boat we want or anything the main reason we want to go up to the boat show this weekend is so we can see every type of boat there is see all the different size boats there are and see what is comfortable for us and what we should be looking for when it is time to buy a boat thought we would take you along since this is such a big step for us and what we have been aiming for with these vans and hopefully we only have to do two or one more van and we can buy our own sailboat. So we're here, we're waiting for a couple, we're waiting for a broker essentially to go on some of these boats. Um, we're allowed to walk the docks, but not go on board until a broker is here. But there are quite a few cats for sale, and then a couple racing boats here as well. Kitchen. Could you see yourself living here? Yeah, of course. Um, I would move on to this column. Navy, the dogs, even the cats could fit on this boat. <laughs> yeah, everyone would fit on this boat. <laughs> this is our dream boat. This is 20 years newer than what we can afford. <laughs> Not 20 years. 15. 10. Oh, 10, 15. Yeah. yeah. This is what Colin had in mind for our boat, but after seeing it in person, he realizes that it is way too small for us. Oh, the other one over there? Yeah. Our dogs wouldn't even fit right here. <laughs> too small? Yeah, I've seen it in person. It's the beam is a lot. I could lay and across. And as you it. said, <laughs> the walkway across is very really narrow. Narrow. Be really dangerous for our dogs. We just got back from the Pier Seven boat show. I don't know, open house kind of thing. It was interesting in that the website made it seem like they had a lot more boats for sale when in fact they had six. And then only two of them that we were actually allowed to go on. Um, one being a legacy, a Gemini Legacy, which is the newer version of the Gemini 105, which is something I was actually looking at because looking at because of the price. Um, but seeing that in person, the beam is nowhere near wide as enough for what we would need and actually want to live aboard and trust. Um, it'd be fine for going up and down the coast, but we want to do a little more than that. So. Um, we can mark that boat off right now. Um, but we did get to see a very nice lagoon, a 45 foot lagoon. Um, it was a pretty nice boat. It had a 25 foot beam, which is how wide the boat is. 
and that kind of put into perspective how big a 45 foot boat is with a 25 foot beam. This is the first real day of boat show for us and we're going to head back to town and we're packing up our bikes right now because we don't know if there's going to be parking close so we brought bikes just in case we can park far away and we can just bike it. thinking around um, 38 to 42 feet. Uh, the 45s are nice and the 50s are nice. There's a 50 behind us, sorry. But they're way too big. Ba way too big for what we need or can afford, more or less. So we're gonna take a look at these, check out the inside. Again, mostly seeing the beam on these and the length to see what the overall size feels like. This is the master of the leopard. And you have a whole bedroom here. And then when you turn around, a little vanity area. And then you have this whole bathroom. This is a hell, hell of a bathroom. Hell of a bathroom. We are now going to head to Lagoon and Fontaine, Fontaine Couch. I don't know how to say it. Pujo. I'll figure it out in a minute, but um, so again, yeah, we talked to an owner know. who had one, and they they didn't know how to pronounce it. I'll look it up one day to get it right. But the lines are starting to get pretty long to get into these boats, so we're trying to see them before it gets too busy. Also, it's supposed to rain later this afternoon, so not looking forward to that. But fun show so far. Never been fun seeing all the boats. We took a quick stop by a 65 footer. This boat is massive. This is the true dream. The true, true dream of a boat right here. Um, we have to, it's by appointment with a broker only. Made it very clear that it's not something we can afford right now, but it'd be a lot of fun. Look how wide this walkway is. That's crazy. We are here at the Fountain Pujo um, boats. We're looking at this 40 footer here. It is one foot narrower at 21 feet wide than the lagoon was. The lagoon was 22. Uh, this, as I said, is a 40 foot version. We're going to see the layout of this boat. It's going to give us an idea of what these look like in the build quality. The inside, I have a nice living area, table drops down to a bed, and a nice kitchen. This is what I'm looking for in the boat with the kitchen upstairs, or the galley upstairs. Colin's going to get on me for saying kitchen. Oh, these, these steps are steep. I mean, after a while, the bedrooms start looking the same. Well, this is a, this one's a smaller one. This would be a half, one and a half or yeah, something. Yeah, a lot smaller. Shared bath. It's like a Jack and Jill bedroom. I mean, that's a, these showers are getting... 
So we're here on the 40 foot Beneteau. As you can tell, there's also rain coming. Um, so we're trying to get an idea of what these kind of feel like and stuff. I don't know if you can hear me because it is really windy um, and there's also a lot of people in the background. everything on this boat. This is van life as a boat. Yeah. Here. Van life as a boat. My head is so small. It looks like a floor now. It is getting It's getting crazy here. Oh, I thought you were talking to Ashley also this planter over here fell down and hit Ashley on her um, leg. So we're assessing that situation right now. So Ashley's on this Bali boat, this whole door comes down and closes. But it opens up the whole living space. And it's the end of the day and it's pouring rain. So then we're soaking wet. And we're going to go to one of the parties that they're having, the quantum tail walk. And then we're going to find a room somewhere. But we also have our bikes, so we have to figure out how to pick our bikes up in the rain because I don't think we want to ride them. <laughs> Thank you. 